Honda is making its third attempt at gaining green credentials in the Indian market. And this time around, it's with a hybrid version of their most popular car, the City Sedan. Dubbed the City E HEV, it is a series hybrid and is the first in the segment to bring such technologies. Honda recently unveiled the car and here is everything you need to know about it. The City E HEV is a new top spec model and is of course based on the fifth generation Honda City that was launched in India in 2020. Powering it is a 1.5 litre four cylinder petrol engine running on an Atkinson cycle, which by its design is high on efficiency but at the cost of engine power. And that's where the electric powertrain comes into play. You get two electric motors, a smaller one that plays the role of an integrated starter generator while the second and larger motor, also known as a traction motor, serves to drive the front wheels. This engine produces 96 bhp and 109 nm of torque, while the more powerful traction motor has an output of 125 bhp and 253 nm of torque. There's no gearbox, at least not in the conventional sense. Honda has fitted what it calls an eCVT, which is a single speed unit that can spin up to a Formula 1 car like 13,300 rpm and acts as the go-between for the traction motor and the wheels. You also get a lock-up clutch mechanism to connect the wheels directly to the ice for efficient driving at highway speeds. The hybrid technology in this car is Honda's iMMD technology, which when expanded translates to intelligent multi-mode drive. And that should give you an idea of how this hybrid technology works in the city eHEV. At low speed, you are in EV mode, where it's a traction motor and the wheels working together to provide movement. The pure EV range is quite small as the battery pack located in the boot is not of large capacity. However, it does exist and gives green credentials, especially in chocker block traffic, where an EV does some of its best work. Pick up the pace to above bumper to bumper speeds and the internal combustion engine comes to life and starts charging the battery pack, which then powers the traction motor, which is powering the wheels. At speeds of above 120 kmph, the electric drivetrain goes offline and the combustion engine connects directly to the wheels via a lock-up clutch. Think of this as a sixth gear that one would engage to keep those kind of speeds constant on highway. However, the ICE motor is also sending charge to the battery pack at the same time. There is no way for human intervention to switch between the modes as it's completely automatic and computer controlled. You can look at it this way, maximum efficiency in all driving scenarios for high mileage. After all, with the kind of fuel prices we have today, kitna deti hai is now need of the hour, right? In a conventional car with an internal combustion engine, the paddle shifters exist as a luxury for you to keep your hands on the steering wheel all the time and change gears. But in a vehicle like this, they play a very different purpose. They provide regeneration, or as it's more popularly known, regen. The energy produced during braking is converted into chemical energy, aka charge for the battery pack. You get three stages of regen, each more powerful than the previous one, and is useful depending on the traffic scenario. The regen turns off in full ICE mode, and there you are driving the car like a conventional two-pedal vehicle. The benefits of having a hybrid setup like the one the Honda City e HEV offers is twofold actually. The first is that the company claims it has a mileage of 26.5 kmpl, which when combined with a 40 litre petrol tank gives you a theoretical range of 1060 kilometers. This is sufficiently higher as compared to the standard City CVT's petrol range of 736 kilometers. And this despite the City hybrid weighing around 100 kgs more than the standard car. This is of course on paper, and when we can put the City eHEV through the full battery of Carvalho's range test, we will be able to give you a real-world figure. The second is of course gaining green credentials, which is fast becoming the order of the day, as the growth of EVs in India has picked up speed. But wait, there's a little more. A hybrid setup like the one in the City eHEV eliminates range anxiety, commonly associated with pure electric vehicles. The car matches facilities offered by our road infrastructure, but with a green touch. 
This city EHEV or the city hybrid as we have been referring to it till now will be launched in the first week of May 2022 and will be offered in two variants that's the city uh, EHEV V and the city EHEV ZX the difference being that the ZX version will get Honda's sensing technology. It is expected to be priced in the range of rupees 18 lakh to rupees 20 lakh X showroom, giving it a position even above the ZX diesel variant of the standard city. Bookings have opened for the city EHEV from 14 April and the amount has been set at rupees 21,000. Yes, the city EHEV in the ZX trim will be offered with Honda sensing technology. This is the Japanese automaker's new ADA suite that comprises lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control, auto high beam control, road departure warning and collision mitigation braking. In addition to the ADA suite, Honda is also debuting a new version of its connect connected car technology with this hybrid city. Expect this updated version to make it into other city models soon. Big news! We are driving the Honda City EHEV in the last week of April and our review for the same as well as our video will go live on the 2nd of May at 9am. So if you have any questions, do ask us on all our social media channels and also be ready for the review. Before we sign off, here's a little reminder. Are you enjoying the content on our channel? Then do hit those like, share and subscribe buttons and also that bell icon to be notified the instant we put out a new video. Also, what do you think of this new City Hybrid? Do leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.